Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Zhang Xianyi. The topic is about the introduction to Open Blast and the Bliss project. Uh, what? Okay. So, uh, my my research focus on the performance optimization of the parallel software. I worked at uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences for seven years, and uh, and now I'm at U at UT Austin. Uh, I developed. Uh, Open Blast since 2011. So I also optimized uh, benchmarks on supercomputer, for example, high performance LinPike on IPE more 8.5 supercomputer and uh, HPCG benchmark on Tianhe 2 supercomputer. Uh, the outline of the talk is uh, at first I will talk about Blast and then the Open Blast <coughs> and the Algem. At last, uh, I will talk about the Blitz project. Uh, what is Blast? Uh, Blast stands for uh, Basic Linear Algebra Subprograms. Uh, there are three level Blast. The level one is about a vector and a vector. Level two it's a matrix and a vector, and a level three is a matrix and a matrix. Why are blasts important? Because blasts constitute the bottom of the food chain for the most dense linear algebra uh, applications, as well as other libraries, for example, uh, LayPike, LayPflame, uh, MATLAB, and uh, PASI. Sorry. The idea is uh, very simple. If the if the BLAST interface is standardized and uh, if optimized or high performance implementation exists for your architecture, then high level application can easily benefit. So so there are lots of BLAST implementation available. For example, the uh, from the C, uh, uh, processor vendors, uh, including AMD, ACML, Intel, MKR, and uh, NVIDIA, Kublas, uh, uh, IPO, Accelerate, and uh, the open source libraries, uh, Nightly, Fortune, Reference uh, Implementation, and uh, Atlas, uh, GoToBlast, and uh, OpenBlast. Uh, why do we create OpenBlast? Uh, uh, go to um, at first. I must talk about the go to blast. Go to blast is uh, developed by Kuzuzuki uh, Hoto at UT Austin. Um, the go to blast is a very high performance, but uh, the go to blast is uh, unmaintained since 2010. The reason is that the uh, go to uh, go to joined uh, Microsoft. So on um, on 2011, uh, we cr forked GoToBlast to OpenBlast and uh, to continue to optimize the library on recent uh, processors. Try to give a, give an open source high performance implementation. Uh, here is the website of the OpenBlast. Uh, it's under BSD license. The stable release is 0.2.14 version. There are three core developers and uh, 40 contributors. Um, in recent years, we optimized the library on many processors. For, uh, for example, the Intel Sandy Bridge, Haswell, and the AMD Pell Driver, and the Steam Roller. We also support the ARM processors, including ARM v5, uh, v6, and uh, v7 ISA, and uh, ARC64 architecture. We also uh, optimize the library on ARM Cortex A9 um, processor core. Uh, we also support uh, China Homegrown uh, Longsong 3 MIPS. 64 processors and support uh, many opti uh, OS, including Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac OS, and then fix many, many bugs. Uh, here is the performance graph for the OpenBlast. 
this graph shows the performance on long, long sense three CPUs about the blast three performance. The open blast or outperformance to go to blast uh, 120% and uh, at last 73%. Here is, here is the performance on uh, DGM performance on Intel Sandy Bridge. We compare the open blast with the Intel M MKL. Uh, the, the red line is the open blast, the blue line is the Intel MKL. You can see the performance is very close. We can see <laughs> so the open blast is um, the performance is uh, comparable with the Intel MKL. Here is the graph about the ARM processor. The the blue line is uh, open blast, and the red line is Bliss project, and the green line is the Atlas. The hair is better, so we got we obtained uh, better performance on ARM. And uh, uh, open, uh, I must thank thanks to Julia, uh, developers and the user to fill many many bugs uh, about Open Blast and uh, submit submit many pull requests to uh, Open Blast. Thank you very much. So after after the marketing slides, I want to talk about the gym the matrix multiplication algorithm be behind the go to blast and the open blast. Uh, you can see it here is uh, matrix A and the matrix B and uh, matrix 3. At first we must use the blocking uh, blocking at the uh, n dimension. Next one is the blocking at the k direct. Here we pack this one, pack the row panel of the B like this. We must pack the data to improve the uh, actuaries to avoid the TLB miss and the catch miss. To it. And next is to pack the, uh, the matrix, uh, just to block the matrix. A at, at uh, M direction and uh, pack the block of A like this one. And uh, then we provide the kernel for um, calculate the block and uh, panel multiplication. Uh, go to call this kernel, uh, call this the inner kernel. It it con consists of three loops. Uh, the code is um, uh, written by assembly co assembly language. It's about uh, two thousand or maybe three thousand lines. So in general, there are two ways to generate the high performance of. DLA code. The first one is a menu implementation. For example, in the go to blast, you must write the thousand assembly code and to it required enough knowledge of algorithm and architecture and bind tightly with the feature of the architecture. So if you, if you want to uh, port your code on a new architecture, you must uh, rewrite the kernel. I mean, you must uh, rewrite a thousand line assembly code. The another uh, method is uh, auto tuning. It uh, auto automatically generates the high level language, for example, in C language, and uh, try the different. Uh, optimization strategies and uh, select the uh, optimal results for the target CPU. Uh, the, pro uh, the, problem, uh, the problem of 
this auto tuning method is that the performance rely on the underlying compiler. For example, rely on the GCC or rely on the ICC. However, the general compiler GCC uh, have uh, has no knowledge about algorithm, so the compiler cannot generate the efficient code for for your kernel. So there, so uh, usually there is a performance gap between the auto tuning and the, the uh, hand reading uh, assembly code. So our motivation is about uh, is there is the exceeding a way to combine the manually writing assembly code and uh, auto-tuning method. It's try to automatically generate an extremely efficient kernel. So here is the Algen project to automatically generate the efficient matrix uh, code. Oh, sorry. This, you can see. The input is a very simple C language, and uh, the output is the optimized assembly language, uh, assembly code. There are four steps. Uh, the, the first one is to, we call it, uh, optimize the C kernel generator. Uh, here is the input gem uh, uh, kernel. It's very simple, just uh, three loops. And uh, we applied loop and row, uh, loop gem, and uh, uh, strange uh, reduction and the data prefetch to generate the optimized the C code. So the next step is we uh, we predefined some template. And actually, in our implementation of the uh, Blast library, we found there are some uh, Python uh, um, computation and uh, read and uh, store uh, Python in the uh, library. So we just uh, predefined the template uh, to match to catch this Python. And uh, in, every, in every template, we used the same vectorization to, uh, like this one. Here is the, here is the, the same vectorization for, for the unrolled uh, computation uh, template, and the next we alloc locate the register for the variable, and next we select the instruction for. It. Now we support uh, SSE vectorization and uh, AVX vectorization, and uh, we s now we support uh, support six optimizer. The last step is to uh, assembly kernel generator is translate the rest C code to the valid machine assembly. Uh, instructions. The only challenge is that uh, we must uh, keep the cons consistency of the register allocation decisions among the different code generation. Uh, for, for example, for example, in template one, we all we allocate a register one for for this variable, but on the template two. We allocate regions for one for variable two. Uh, this is uh, uh, inconsistent. So between the template, we must uh, load and store the register. So this will and um, this will harm the this is very harmful for the uh, performance. So we introduce a register table to store the, the allocation decision between the template and to make the consistent uh, decision. Here's the performance on the recent Intel and the AMD platform. 
here it's um, the performance of DJM DGM on Intel, uh, Intel processor. The, the, bl uh, the black line is all gym and uh, right, the red line is MKL and uh, ITLAS. Here, this one is the very old go to blast. You can see it, they are very close, and uh, I think the old gym is a uh, out, out performance MKL about. Uh, one percent, and uh, here is the performance graph on the AMD processor. Also, we also achieved the uh, best uh, performance. Um, here, there are two graphs on the, about the blast two functions, GEMV. You can see the black is the origin. Also. The also the better performance. And uh, the plus one is uh, ASPY and uh, DOT. Um, so the OGIM framework can automatically generate the high, highly optimized assembly implant, uh, implantation for BLAST kernels on varying processors. We also Actually, we use OGIM uh, to framework to generate the DGM code, DGM kernel code, and we we and this kernel code into OpenBLAST for the Sandy Bridge. So, uh, so it can easy to port the library on the new architecture. So, just run the framework and uh, generate the code. Mm. Okay, the, the last I will talk about the Bliss project. The Bliss project is created by field. So I just borrowed the slides from the field. Uh, what is Bliss? Bliss stands for the BLAST like library instantiation software. Bliss is a framework for quickly instanting high-performance high BLAST-like libraries. And uh, BLAST-like is for now just assume BLAST as is equal to BLAST. Uh, why do we need BLAST? Um, the BLAST interface is limiting for some applications. Uh, the interface was uh, finalized uh, 12, 12 tools uh, 20 to 30 years ago. Um, how exactly is the BLAST interface limiting? Uh, after all, it served us well for a long time. So I will talk about the limit limitation of the BLAST interface. Uh, first, of all, first of all, the interface on only allows the column major storage. For, for example, we want to support column major storage, row major storage, and uh, general storage uh, in tensor, used, by, uh, used in tensor uh, application, uh, computation. Uh, further yet, we want to support uh, opera operates of the mixed storage format. F uh, for example, this uh, uh, matrix multiplication, where A is the column column stored and the B is the row stored and the C has the general thread. For the BLAST uh, interface, it's very hard to deal with this situation. And uh, why, do we, why do we need the general thread uh, storage? Uh, um, Consider the three-dimension tensor, and uh, how do we take a arbitrary, ab arbitrary slice? For example, this one, and uh, th this is it may be non-continuously in both dimensions, and another limit is about the incomplete support for uh, complex uh, operations. 
for here is the example. This function is uh, incom incomplete support in the complex. And the last one is the BLAST API. It, it's no unify, uh, uniform way to access low-level kernels. Why could one want to access these kernels? It, because we want to optimize high-level operations, so we do not uh, just use the BLAST interface. We want to use the inner uh, function or inner code in, in the BLAST library, and we want to control the packing and the computation for the uh, multi-threading. Uh, or maybe we just want to use the kernel in the library to implement some new uh, operations without uh, reventing the hill. So, uh, so we, we, so, uh, we just introduced the Blitz, uh, Blitz library for that, for this purpose. So, Please address the interface issue with BLAST. The independent uh, row and uh, column stride properties allow flexible matrix storage, and uh, any input can be conjugated. And the expert can direct call the low level packing and uh, the computation kernels. Uh, operation uh, support can grow over time so as need. Now, why should someone want please? If you if you are uh, end user, uh, the please has the improved uh, interface, and uh, you can still use the BLAST compatible layer. And uh, if you are a developer, as a framework, the BLIS make it easier to implement a high performance BLAS. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does BLIS make implement implementing the high performance BLAS easier? Uh, first, please uh, go back this slide. It's the uh, kernel in the open blast and uh, go to blast it right in summary language about 2000 lines but in please uh, the please uh, project introduced the gym micro kernel so um, the inner kernel have uh, three here, here is the inner kernel, or, or the inner kernel have the three loop, so we, it must use many 2000 uh, assembly code, but uh, the micro kernel only have this loop. <coughs> so the, the micro kernel only have one, um, so the uh, micro kernel, only need uh, about uh, 700 lines of the code. For the uh, for uh, for the performance, uh, next I will show the performance graph on the Intel Xeon 7400. Here is the performance on the DGM, and uh, you can see the black line is the bliss, and uh, the the right line is open blast, and uh, this blue line is MKL. You can see the the bliss open blast and the MKL is very close yeah. uh, for for the single thread DGM. And this one is the uh, uh, SYIMM, <laughs> also similar to same to the DGM. 
said, uh, please open Blast and uh, I'm care. Oh, very close. The performance are very close. And uh, this one is uh, SYK. The open blast ha have the open the open blast have the better performance. And uh, the next one is the Bliss project. Bliss pro SYK. I swear 2K. It's the performance is also the close in this function. And uh, this one is a TRMM. You have, um, for TRM, the MKL out of performance, the other library in the small matrix, and uh, the Bliss also, also out of performance, the Open Blast and uh, Atlas library, like here. But for the bigger, for the large large matrix, the Open Blast has some slight uh, benefit improvement. And this one is the TRSM. The TRSM is. Um, the TRSM because the Bliss project introduced uh, a more kernel to fuse the TRSM kernel with the gem kernel. So in, in this way, it, the Bliss kernel, uh, the Bliss library can um, auto performance the other two uh, open source uh, open source library on the very on the very small um, matrix input. To to summary, the bliss is just a uh, bliss can benefit the everyone for the basic and the user. It's more flexible interface uh, for the developers. The framework is portable and uh, reduce m amount of code to optimize and uh, maintain and uh, allow the rapid uh, test to the test on the new hardware and for the manager is high productivity and uh, ex expert or the super uh, supercomputing researcher um, they can use the bliss to access to low level routines or the kernels and provides a platform for experimentation of and uh, prototyping and, uh, and the area for the area is that the police is a facilitate the high performance and the reasonable uh, compact code and uh, free or open source under BSD license for f uh, future future information information please contact the field that's all thank you I need two questions mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I'm not the um, core de developer of the Bliss, so I only can answer your question about OGIM, the yeah. automatic work. The OGIM is that uh, okay. the OGIM is that if the architecture is very similar, or for example, use the similar instruction, for example, the Intel has a, a SSE and uh, the AVX. When we port in the framework from the SSE to AVX, we just, uh, I think it cost, cost us about three days to support the new uh, instruction in the OGM framework. And uh, after three days, we just run the 
uh, framework to test the blocking size or the unrolling factor. Uh, and it's about less than less than half day. It's zero. I think it's about five hours to generate a, a very efficient uh, assembly code for DJM. And uh, from AVX to the, uh, I mean, the AMD also and uh, FMA instruction, uh, fields uh, multiply and uh, end instruction. Uh, actually, we only uh, used uh, one day to end that instruction. So, and uh, to run the framework on the AMD uh, platform and uh, to generate also the maybe five, five hours to generate the uh, assembly code. But for some new, uh, f but for the other, the different uh, processor, for example, for ARM processor, the ARM processor, they are used the different architecture, the different, uh, totally different uh, instruction. So maybe it will cause of um, a few weeks to support this this kind of new um, new architecture and uh, sorry. and uh, even for the Intel Mac for the Intel Mac is uh, another problem. So we just try Intel Mac to to use the audio on the Intel Intel Mac. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are two main components in fast, dense linear algebra. One of them is matrix matrix multiply, and the other one is triangular salt. So, uh, are you considering that at all to have uh, fast, uh, more optimized versions of triangular salt uh, in the uh, Oogla? Uh, tri triangle salt. Um, we just uh, optimize the triangle solver based on the gem. So, for the triangle solver, f for the tr the the particularly tr small triangle solver code, I think we used uh, C code. We we didn't use the assembly code, so the performance is uh, not very good at the small matrix. So. To support the triangle solver, it's lots of work <laughs> because we must uh, uh, the triangle because uh, many different cases. For example, L L or L or R, uh, maybe maybe about uh, sixteen case of the triangle. So lots of work <laughs> to implement the tri triangle solver in assembly. Thank you.